Can I export code from Bubble or from other no-code tools? That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Hey, welcome to the We Are No Code channel. My name is Kyle. I'm the CTO here at We Are No Code. And in this channel, we talk all about no code tools. And if you are already into this no code space or you just want to get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also leave a thumbs up on the video. Can I export code from my no code application or more specifically, can I export code from Bubble? Let's talk a little bit about that. So, First, why do people want to export code from these no-code applications? I myself, I don't see any reason for doing that because why? I don't want to handle code. I want to do no-code and I want to keep using those no-code tools because they are awesome, right? So I don't want to touch the code. So I believe a lot of people want to export the code because first, maybe they don't feel comfortable having everything inside the no code platform and not having the code itself because they feel that maybe they are not owners of the application. But I would say don't feel like that because that's not true. You have the intellectual property of anything you build using no code tools. And even though you don't own the code or you don't have the code itself, that's okay. Like you don't actually need to have the code. You don't need the code for anything actually. That's why you're using no code tools. I believe some people are still a little bit skeptical about no code tools and they just want to know if they can get the code out of the platform, out of bubble, for example, because sometimes they don't want to pay for the service or they want to get the code or they think they can handle this code to someone else to continue this project after you finish building using no code tools but that's not the case that's not the goal that's not how the no code tools work so basically the idea behind no code tools is that you use the no code tools to actually build the application you want to build but also you host the application you built using those no code tools inside that no code tool itself because they provide all the infrastructure you need to host and make that project live to people so you don't need to take care of any infrastructure everything that you need is already available for you inside the tool itself so i don't see why you should take the code out of that tool even though if you could do that some tools some no code tools allow you to export code for example webflow does it it allows you to export code but i will explain why to me it doesn't make sense and in some cases it does make sense to export that code but i won't say that's the situation in most cases in most cases you want to keep using the no code tool and you want to use everything that that tool provides for you that's the way it is you have the no code tool right so the no code tool has a editor view that you can drag and drop components. You build your own application using that editor, right? Once you finish your application, you have to pay that tool to publish this and to use a custom domain. That's how people will access your application on the web, right? Once you do that, you pay for the service. It is usually a monthly fee, depending on how much resources you need. So the more robust your application is, the more you will pay. But also so that means you are probably making money and you have a lot of users. So that makes sense, right? If you're in that stage, you should be paying more. If you're not in that stage, then you have the entry level plans that are good for you to get started with and it will handle a considerable amount of users and it really depends on what exactly you are building. So you just pay for this service because then you host everything inside that tool. That tool will provide you all the infrastructure, it will handle the servers, even provide you support. So in my opinion, it doesn't make sense to export code, even though in some cases you might not export code. For example, Bubble doesn't allow you to export code, like I mentioned. But even though if you could, it doesn't make sense because think about it. Like if you could export code from Bubble, then you would have to host it yourself. By doing that, you have to hire a hosting service that will cost some money. I know there are some cheap availables out there, but that's not the one you want to go with if you're hosting a serious application. So you start thinking, oh, maybe I can host it somewhere because it will be cheaper. But 
I don't think that's good enough because you are not doing the right math. Like you are just comparing a cheaper hosting service with Bubbles hosting service plus support plus not having to do anything at all. You are not taking into consideration your own time and management efforts as well. That should cost money as well. So you are doing like managing code, you are managing this infrastructure, the hosting services, making sure that everything is okay. If something happens, then you have to take care of it. So is it worth it like doing this, even though you have like the ability to export code? I don't think so. I prefer paying for one single thing and then having everything and uh, ready for me. I don't have to take care of anything. The infrastructure is there for me. If I need more infrastructure, I can even upgrade my plan and that's all done. I don't see a reason for you to want to do these extra things, you know, and hosting everything. Apart from that, once you export the code, you have to handle the code itself. If you do any changes, either you have to go back to the original tool that generated the code and do the changes, export the code again, update the code in your own server. Does it make sense to have these extra steps and having to go back, add it and then export again and then upload to your new server? I don't think so. Also, another thing that happens if you can export code is that if you have dynamic data, if you have databases, it might not work. For example, Webflow allows you to export code, but then you lose all the capabilities of using the CMS and other cool features that the tool provides for you. So why do you want to export code and have less features available for you and have static code? So the only reason I see for you to do that is if you're using, for example, Webflow just as a builder and then you want to build without code, simple landing pages and static landing pages or websites that will not change often. And then you just want to create this, export and host it somewhere else because maybe it's a very, very, very simple project. In that case, I think it's okay, but if you need to update this website, you have to go back to, to Webflow Editor, change this, export the code again and update the code into the server. So I don't think it's a good and smart idea since they provide everything for you with the push of a button. So that's my own opinion. Of course, you might have a different one, but that's uh, how I see it. Like if you're using no code, I mean for everything. Like I want to use no code. I want to have everything done for me. I want to have everything as simple as possible. So I want to make sure that if I'm using no code, I have everything in the same environment. I am using that tool to host. I'm using their service. I'm paying their plan and I'm getting their support if I need to. If something happens, they will take care of it. They will handle the infrastructure. They will handle the hosting. I don't even have to hire anyone to take care of that. So have you ever thought about like if you have your own servers, maybe at some point you need one specific professional person to take care of that for you. How much is that going to cost compared to the monthly plan that you are going to pay for those tools? So it's a no brainer that it's way cheaper to pay for the no code tools itself. Also, don't forget to check our free course. We prepared this free course to help you get started in your no code journey and start creating your online business without being a technical person. So if you want to learn how to launch your startup business idea, your online business as a non technical person using no code tools, go there down below in the video description section. There's a link for you to enroll for free into this free course. Just go there and register right now. Leave a comment down below if you want to say something and I appreciate that you watch it so far. That's it from me today. Talk to you on the next video. Let's no code.